Okay, so this is typically quiz four or quiz five. Um, so uh, the, the, this has to do with centripetal force, okay? Centripetal force. So centripetal force is mv squared over r, okay? Where this is the radius of the path, right? And this is the speed. It's uniform circular motion, right? So like it has a constant speed around the circle. And this is the mass of the object. Um, now, uh, it's these are typically the questions that you get, right? Um, and so, here's what we have to do: you have to find the angular speed, right, of an object rotating on a complete circle that has this radius and this period, right? This is a period, okay? Here it says find the period of revolution with an angular velocity of so and so, right? So we need to actually figure out what these uh, terms are, right? Because we have this stuff, and we don't know how to get radius, or uh, so, excuse me, we don't have to, we don't know how to get, um, you know, period or anything like that from this. When um, when you've got a circle, right? You're moving through an angle theta, right? And you're going to move through the angle theta in a certain amount of time. We call that, okay. We call that the angular speed or angular velocity. All right. So the amount of angle moved in a specific amount of specific amount of time. This is analogous to like a distance over time, right? We call that linear uh, velocity, right, or just velocity. And you've got um, you've got angular velocity, right? So. Um, the way you can determine angular velocity is very simple, right? Ask yourself, what angle do I move through, right, in a full rotation, in radians? What is it? That's right, it's 2 pi. Now, what is the corresponding amount of time that it takes to complete a full revolution? It's called the period. So by definition, the angle that you move through in a period in a cycle divided by the time required for that cycle that should be the angular speed and so that is the equation for angular speed okay now um, we also have an equation for regular speed right the speed of rotation v now how much distance do you cover in a full circle well it's 2 pi r is it not the circumference and again the time is the period notice what sticks out though the Omega right we call this Omega not W Omega Omega sticks out so we have another equation just in case that V is equal to Omega R these are very important equations for for your your studies now it says find the angular speed so once Omega Rotating on a complete circle of that radius and period this much. Notice we don't actually have to need this. We don't actually need that, right? Because omega is equal to 2 pi over t. Okay, and if period is 15 seconds, then it's just 2 pi over period, over period, which is 15. Okay, 2 pi 15, and it's going to be seconds uh, inverse. All right, so then you can punch that into your calculator and see what you find. All right. Now they give us that find the period of revolution, rotating on a, for an object rotating on a circle that has this angular speed or angular velocity of ten pi. So they tell you that omega is ten pi rads per second. Okay. Um. By the way, rad is not a real unit, so you can really just leave it as seconds inverse. Okay. Since they have rad per second in this question, change that to rad per second. All right, just so you're not off. Okay, so rad per second. Now we know the equation for omega, right? It's 2 pi over t. So 2 pi over t has to be equal to 10 pi, correct? So that means that I can cancel pi's, all right? And then if I isolate for t, I get that t has to be 1 fifths of a second, okay? And that translates to. 0.2 seconds and that's it that's your quiz now there is a version 2 where the numbers are different so be wary of that
okay look for the numbers make sure that they are um, you know they will be there are two versions for this quiz so if you don't see these numbers don't panic just do the same sort of methodology that's it thank you so much have a good one